Hi guys! Hello guys! Review your favorite channel, Mama in Kentucky. Yay! And yes, first of all, please follow our channel because here you will know what we are making, like something cool. Because this channel is probably for English people because we have another another channel, Mama in America. This is probably for Ukraine because we are making the videos on Russian. Yeah. So for our channel, ring on the bell, bell, <laughs> and after put the like if you like it, of course. So what is about our channel, Paulina? Our channel, Mama in Kentucky, is about immigration from Ukraine to America. Yes, but and about what? About life and in America. <laughs> exactly about our life in America, about education, about difference between Ukrainian and American education. And today we are going to talk with you guys about the scene. So nice here, and we have sunset right now. Yeah, this is so beautiful. And today, guys, we are going to speak with you about bilingualism. So it's about uh, that Paulina knows not one language. So, so her native language is Russian. Ukrainian and Russian. They are two different languages so. because, guys, wait, wait a moment, because, guys. Uh, in America and in Europe, some people uh, they are thinking that Ukrainian and Russian, it's something the same. But no, they are two different languages with different grammar. I would like to stress this. So she knows uh, two Five with no with two languages, Ukrainian and Russian, uh, because uh, her uh, school education in Ukraine back in Ukraine, Ukraine was in Ukraine. But at home we were talking Russian and still we are, we are going to speak Russian uh, together beside us and we are going to continue to learn Russian. Uh, and besides this, she knows what languages do you know? So, I know Ukrainian, Russian, English, German, like if I will go to Germany or to Italy, I will still like um, no, which language, but not so good as when I was six years old, but probably I will stay like seven weeks, like one week, and I'm done. I know, I'm really good to remember all the stuff. Yeah. Yes, but uh, can you tell our subscribers why uh, do you know German and Italian? Because, okay, English you know because you have at school and we are now living in America, but in general, why do you learn German? Uh, why do you know German and Italian? What was your experience? I'm not sure that I have the experience because I'm just I was six years old first of all, and no, but like my mom uh, mm. was uh, was asking me, okay, let's learn like German and uh, uh, Italian, yeah. So I'm like, okay, because I was six years old and I don't understand anything. I was just learning and like, studying with my mom and I'm like, okay, if you want, I will study, yes. But besides this, of course, not just study at home helped us because we had an experience living abroad. We lived uh, before moving to America, we lived one year in Italy. That's why she knows, but she was at that time, she was like five and that's why she also attended school in Italy like half a year, I think. But she she's not she not practice now so it's hard for it's her. been forgotten <laughs> yeah uh, so like we <laughs> mix all languages german and english and that's why she knows a bit italian i know italian very well because uh, i'm working uh, i teach italian uh, and so i am a teacher but uh, how she knows german she, uh, we were living in Germany also, like probably one year, so what's why, but she attended also, she was seven, I guess, and she attend, uh, attended uh, school in Germany. That's why her German is better rather than Italian, but by the way, uh, tell please our subscribers, is it hard to combine, to mix in your hand, to combine your hand all these languages? Is it hard to switch? To switch beside, for example, if you need to speak English and after you have to switch into German, for example, is it hard for you? So I will say two options uh, because so we have a game Monopoly, and I was playing by myself. And when you know, like Alex had his kids, Kate and Marcus, we were talking about them, and so I was playing by myself Monopoly. And you know, you have a cube, you should draw it into like two steps and like one two and when i see katie and marcus uh i'm just changing the language to english when i'm by myself i'm changing it to russian but 
when uh, so I was at school at Ukraine and my teacher asked me how many languages do you know I'm like okay I know five languages and she asked me to talk about in Italian something to say and I'm like uh, I know it's language but I cannot switch it so fast so I'm like, um, yeah it depends it's if hard. you use it often or not but what do you recommend because I have some parents uh, into my practice teaching practice and they ask me sometimes uh, should kid learn first uh, a good one language for example should kid learn uh, kid learn uh, English and after just start learning the second language or they can uh, live uh, with languages can live beside together and don't mix in their head what do you recommend is it better to learn one or you can learn even two and it's okay for kid so like I guess for an adult it will be more easier to learn like two together but I guess for kid because for me it's really hard uh, to learn two languages together because like first of all you should remember I guess the Italian words and how you can like today you remember Italian words and tomorrow you should remem remember German words it's like mixed with your head so you will like Hola, como estas, my damos. <laughs> so, like that, so it will be really hard to do this. Okay. Yeah. So I recommend to learn first of all one language, which one you would like, and after second one, like something like that. And after guys, if you know at least one language, they are similar. Of course, they have different grammar, but they are, some words are similar, some grammar are similar, like conjugation, so, for example. So you knowing one you will learn faster the second the third and so on yeah so you know for me uh english and german i literally be the same because some of the words are really the same like fish and fish you can say this in german and in english it's the same just article yeah. change right <laughs> fish uh, uh, how will be in german fish the fish yeah oh yeah so <laughs> there are some articles like they did us and, uh, and, and uh, yes, English yeah. has just uh, a definite and indefinite, so we, we have not like masculine or feminine element neutral like German has. But it's not a video about languages, it's about how uh, all five languages are staying in head of Polina and how she does not get crazy about it, right? <laughs> I'm not crazy because like we are not talking so often with my grandparents, but probably. They're talking with me in Russian and I'm like, okay, they're talking in Russian. So my head just like changed and you know, and stuff. So I hear when my parents, my mom and Alex are talking and uh, my head, like my brains are translating me uh, all the steps in Russian. I'm like, oh no, please stop making this. <laughs> and I was making my homework and I'm like, no, please. I'm trying to concentrate it on our homework. Now that they are talking. So I'm just crazy. <laughs> Guys, so what we want to stress, it's really hard to mix in your head and to, to hold in your head different languages. That's why who are learning language, it's not a difficult way, yes, but with your efforts, with being uh, like a very... Um, clever? Very, very <laughs> clever, not just clever, very patient and uh, have a motivation, you will reach your goal, right, Marina? Yes. So let's say our subscribers goodbye Bye. for today. We are going to cook dinner now because sunset is going. Yeah, but on. you know, say what I have at YouTube. Say what I have at YouTube. Ah, Paulina has also her own channel. Vlog love. Yes. So if you would like it, it's on Russian. But I guess I can make one more channel and it will be at English because I guess my English is not so bad. Yeah, she is learning, she is trying hard, and her English is getting better and better day by day. So we are happy about it. Okay, so Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Bye, guys.